inflate 6 inch yellow bubble with long flat tail. With the first soft 3 inch bubble. It is the body of the bee. With the second soft 1 inch bubble. With the third soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. At the same time you will lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. The second and the third bubbles uh, help to fix the wings in fixed position. The rest of the balloon is the fourth bubble. Lock both ends of the fourth, the last bubble in one lock twist. The fourth bubble represents the head of the bee. So far we made uh, the bee without wings. Later we will lock both ends of the uh, long flat tail uh, to make the bracelet. Now we are going to make the wings. We are going to use two black balloons for the wings. Fill the balloon with the air. If you made a bubble, you will have to deflate it. Now we have to tie a knot. Or you can actually tie both ends of the balloon in one knot right away. I am doing it in two steps. Tie one end and now I am tying uh, both ends of the balloon in one knot. We can use uh, just one black balloon to make uh, two wings. However, I think that um, this sculpture looks better with uh, bigger size wings. Alright, uh, we have made a wing. For the knot of this black balloon between the head and the body bubbles of the bee. Wrap the uh, black balloon at least one time around the yellow balloon uh, to make sure they are connected properly. We have attached one wing to the body. Make the second wing in the same way. Here yeah, I will have already prepared the second wing in advance. Now I will just attach the second wing to the bee's body. We have to fix all bubbles in proper positions. The head bubble uh, can be fixed either in vertical or in a horizontal position. In this case I keep it in a horizontal position. Now uh, we can lock both ends of the uh, yellow flat tail in one lock twist to make the bracelet. The yellow flat tail can be used to make the bracelet or just uh, as a string to hang the in the air, which is actually fun. Many kids prefer to play with it. Use a black permanent marker to draw the eyes, um, the mouth and the stripes. Here is a little nose and a big smile. Here is the top of the bee and the important I am going to draw the black stripes only on the uh, uh, top side of the, of the bee. This way uh, kids hands won't get in touch with the uh, paint. Very well we have made the bee and the bracelet. Shake your hand uh, to make the wings move.
you can use the same number of balloons to make the bee with two wings and antennas. Uh, the bee body is gonna be the same. The wings balloon we will inflate uh, making one inch bubble. For the one inch bubble to the other end of the uh, balloon. So I prepared two uh, silver color balloons uh, for the wings and the bee I made out of gold balloon. Plug the nut of the silver balloon between uh, bee bubbles. Leave about 3 inches from the other end of the silver balloon for the antenna and uh, at this point you can lock it uh, between bubbles of the bee. So far we made one antenna and one wing. Now we can attach the second silver balloon in the same way to make the second wing and the second antenna. Try to make the antennas about uh, the same size. Fix the antennas uh, on the top side of the B head. Fix all bubbles in proper position. And now the final step. I use a permanent black marker to draw uh, the face of the bee and the stripes. Here I drew two eyes, nose, smiley mouth. Uh, remember that even uh, the permanent marker is mirror souls. That is the reason why I make the drawings only on parts of the balloon that stay clear of the human skin. Uh, we can use this bee as a wearable uh, a bracelet or just as a part of uh, some flower composition. Congratulations! We have made the bee with antennas. Here is the bottom view, the top view, the front view. Have fun and happy twisting.